Hello there, my name is Ain Lemetra. Uh, welcome to the video. And as you can see, I've picked up some new ones. I've picked up some new minis, and I've also got this very rare one, uh, Spencer. And uh, you probably saw in one of my other videos. I have another model of Spencer in the box, um, so I've been quite lucky, I suppose. It's fair to say. And uh, what makes, as I said before, what made me laugh was this uh, Spencer is a metallic silver, uh, metallic silver colour. Uh, when Spencer was first introduced, um, he wasn't metallic silver, he was sort of a white, sort of grey sort of colour, though they did call him silver. Um, but he didn't really become metallic silver uh, until the 10th series. Um, but yeah, that's... Um, model as you can see it's in the box this is a very rare one so i feel very lucky to have uh, got this one and if you turn over the over and look on the back uh, there's a very nice description card and it says this was made in 2004 this was actually released in 2003 but it's possible this model was made uh, 2004 which as you know was the year that the ursula range was discontinued uh, and if you watch my uh, chat uh, other videos on my channel, you see that I've done other box sales collection updates, and you can see all the different ones that I've managed to get um, over the last sort of two years. I've been so I've been doing the videos now for two years at the Earthal collection updates. So that was the uh, Earthal model dispenser. Uh, like I said, yeah, so quite pleased to have that one. Spencer was one of my favourite ones that was introduced in series seven. Um, I should now talk about the minis. Uh, some of these minis I got from the shop in Wellingborough called Captain Neil's Toy Chest. And then, say, some of the others I got from uh, Morrison's. Um, now we move on to the minis. Um, like I said, I'm not huge on the minis, but as you probably saw recently, I did a video of the minis that I managed to get. Um, so and I've got a few other ones. Uh, so first off, we'll start with Stephen. And Stephen, uh, this model of Stephen here is the classic Stephen. And as I said before, the classic ones are the ones where they look like what they did uh, in the TV series rather than being uh, decorated or anything. And uh, this looks just like Stephen does uh, in the TV series. Uh, as you know, he was only introduced in the CGI series. He wasn't back in the model era of the show. Um, and he is actually based on Stevenson's rocket. And uh, I think this is a really good model. And if you look at literally all the way around, you can see sort of there's got sort of fine woodwork details, the nameplate the rocket, and the face is really good as well. Looks just like Stephen's face. Um, but yeah, that was Stephen. And so yeah, I really like that one. Now we move on to the other minis. Um, and this one is uh, Victor. But it's not the normal Victor, it's a... It's a construction Victor. Called it, and straight away when I opened it, I knew it was Victor because obviously the face, the face looks just like Victor's face in the TV series. Uh, also has the uh, Sodor Steamworks logo. Whereas, like I said, when I got the uh, Space Paxton, which was a decorated version of Paxton, um, I couldn't tell which diesel shunter it was. As obviously, as I said, there's quite a few other diesel shunters. And obviously the fact that it was completely painted, but to say this one, I knew straight away that it was Victor. Um, without having to look underneath, as I said at the back, they do say uh, the name of them underneath. Uh, probably just about to see there. Just there, they normally say on the back of them the name of them. And I think it's actually a shame that Victor doesn't look like this in, uh, in the TV series at all, actually, because... Uh, as you know, Victor's the engine that works in the steam works that helps fix all the engines. So, uh, yeah, I think it, if Victor actually looked like that in the TV series, I wouldn't mind at all. I think it'd be quite unique, uh, quite good. I mean, obviously, as you know, uh, they brought Rosie back recently and they've repainted Rosie uh, a different colour. So, uh, maybe one day they'll do it to Victor. Uh, you, you never know. Uh, now I move on to another one. Uh, again, this is one of the classic ones, and this is Bash. And um, again, like classic Stephen, who I've just looked at, this is really good. Um, straight away, by looking at that, uh, by the face and obviously the colours, 
Uh, you can tell that it's Bash. It looks just like what Bash looked like again the TV series. And uh, I know obviously Bash is part of the Logging Locos, and the Logging Locos weren't everyone's cup of tea. Um, but obviously now we've got a great writing sh team that work on the show, so I'm sure uh, given some work, the Logging Locos could be really good characters. Um, and maybe they'll come back one day. Uh, I don't know. I mean, obviously Terence the Tractor has come back recently, and he's obviously been absent for a lot longer. And Terence, obviously, as you know, is a classic character. And I think it's a shame, really, in these min minis, they don't do um, characters like, uh, say, Sir Terence uh, and George and Stepney. And also one of my favourite ones, uh, Peter Sam. And Peter Sam is currently in the TV show. So uh, maybe they'll create him one day. I mean, they've also just brought Duck into the minis range. And obviously, Duck came back not long ago. Um, but yeah. Logan Locos haven't really been seen for a long time, although everyone says, uh, myself included, that Ferdinand appeared in the episode Signals Crossed uh, in the background. And I thought it looked just like him as well. I know there was a huge debate about it um, on lot on Twitter. It sort of, it sort of uh, fluctuated into a bit of a argument, I suppose, really. Um, because people at S uh, Scythe... Uh, got off it. We'll get seen to get offended that people were asking, but at the end of the day, you know, people were just asking if it was Ferdinand, and you know, there's no crime against that. Uh, at the end of the day, you know, people just wanted to know if it was Ferdinand, and saying I, I still stand by and think it was Ferdinand. Um, but nevertheless, so so that was Bash. And here's the last mini I got, and this is Spencer, as well. This is Shark Spencer, and straight away I knew this was Spencer. Because the face on this is really good. Looks just like Spencer's face uh, in the CGI series. Um, yeah, and then obviously it's got Spencer's nameplate on the side. So it's nice that you can tell some of these engines apart without having to look at the name on the bottom of them. Again, it's just there at the back. Just about there, see Spencer. I can see it. Um... So, so this is one of the themed ones, and uh, it looks quite nice. Although I'm sure um, if Spencer saw this himself, I don't know what he'd say uh, about the pink uh, that was on it. And but like I said, yeah, there are a few more of the minis I got. And obviously the Ertel Spencer, so yeah, quite pleased with that, I think it's fair to say. Um, thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, like I said, I'm sort, of, I'm sort of still collecting the minis. I have to admit, it has become a little bit of an obsession. Uh, the minis, and I do, I do think they're very unique for what they are, and um, you know, and the detail on some of them, considering how small they small they are, like uh, this Steven model. I said with the woodwork and everything, you know, I think it was really uh, fascinating, superb. And this Steven one, I think, is one of my favourite ones I've actually got so far. To be honest with you, I like all the other ones as well. Don't get me wrong. And I do prefer the classic ones over the decorated ones, but like I said, that Victor one was quite nice. And it is nice to see some decoration on the other ones, uh, you know, and it's, you know, and I, and I hope that, you know, the range expands and, you know, obviously it, it already is expanding, so uh, yeah. But yeah, thank you very much for watching this video, and uh, goodbye.